Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 49. Hey, if you want to download the sortbook Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 6, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're on the sheet I4 for incentive pay example 4. In some situations, when you're doing piecework, right? Boomerangs per made. Well, you get paid 33 and one quarter cents per boomerang. But to satisfy some minimum wage laws, you have to take into consideration that if a person works eight hours and the guaranteed minimum wage is $8.40, you actually have to calculate that versus the actual piece rate and compare them. So for example, we'll calculate the hourly wage for an eight hour day, the piecework pay, and whichever one's bigger is the one we'll have to accept. Now we have to make calculations for Monday through Friday, the hourly wage column and the piecework, and then calculate uh, whichever one's the biggest. All right, I'm going to start up. I'm just going to calculate my hourly wage round times 840. And I'm going to have to lock that with F4 times, and I have an 8 here, F4. It's going to be the same number for each day, comma 2, control enter. All right, so there, that's our, our base guaranteed uh, minimum wage fee for the day of working eight hours. Now we're going to do a calculation for each day, number of May times this uh, num uh, amount per one boomerang equals round relative cell reference times this amount per boomerang. And we got to lock that with the F4 key, comma 2. Control Enter and copy it down. Now, there's an easy way to do this with a formula, but we could manually do this, right? That's the biggest. That's the biggest. So we put that there. That's the biggest. It just means on this day, at our given quoted rate, 176 times this amount per boomerang, that's not more than the guaranteed minimum wage law allows. So we have to take that 6720 and put that as actual pay. Luckily, there's a function that can do this for us. It finds the biggest one amongst a range of cells. So it's called max for maximum. Please give me the maximum of those two right there. Control Enter and copy, copy it down. And you see it worked just fine. Now we Alt equals to add those up. So that's an example of when we have to deal with minimum wage laws and piecework. All right, uh, see you next video.